Hi there, I'm Muriel and welcome to this video where I'll talk about how to excel in digital and fast changing times without exhausting yourself or others. In this four video series, I will explain why you have to adopt new leadership habits and new business techniques to feel better and excel in digital times. And the great thing is that you can learn these habits without losing your precious time away from the office. Am I the leader I want to be? That was my tipping point. I was there, the CEO of a media company in the midst of a digital transformation. I was this superwoman who could deliver, who worked day and night, who saw solutions and suggested her team to follow them, who controlled everything or thought she did. I had always been successful in my studies and in my career. I could deliver everything that was expected from me. But now I was running like hell and it seemed I only had a small impact and I was losing control. I pretended that everything was okay, but deep down I was exhausting myself. I tried to shut down what I felt and continued working harder to deliver. But I was slowly disconnecting from myself, from others and from what really mattered. And the people around me in the organization were exhausting themselves too. The stress was high, the mood was negative at times and the burnouts increased. We faced many issues. We all had too many things to do, the old things and the new things. We lacked clarity because our plans kept changing all the time. I and the rest of the management teams sometimes imposed stupid decisions on others because our decision process had become too slow or inefficient. And the need to collaborate had outgrown our current functional structure, leading to silo thinking. People were spending more time in meetings trying to align than doing their actual jobs. And all that was creating stress and burnouts. That were the issues we were facing because we were using techniques from a slower time in these fast changing digital times. And I was exhausting myself because I had habits that worked very well in these slower times, but were now standing in the way of my success. It was only when I adopted new business techniques and leadership habits that we excelled and successfully transformed as an organization. And that I started to feel better. With my new habits, I also became this other kind of leader, connected to myself, to others and to what mattered to me. Do you face these issues as well in your organization? Many leaders currently do, as you can see in the graph below the video. So why do you need to adopt new business techniques and leadership habits? Because if you still use the techniques and habits that were designed for slower times in these fast changing times, you might find yourself running like hell for too little impact. You might face high stress levels. You might face a lot of chaos and frustration. You might lose a sense of purpose and think, for the sake of what am I doing all this? And like me, you might even start to question yourself about the leader you are becoming. You might not always recognize yourself anymore. And without the new techniques, your organization will not adapt itself fast enough to all the changes. Tomorrow, I'll tell you what the new techniques are, but also what the four habits are that leaders should adopt. And these new habits might surprise you as they might not be what you think. In the meantime, if you would like to know more, you can also read my article below this video about the 10 mistakes I made when I was still a traditional leader. Thank you.